first vending machine in human history. Okay, so this is it. Do you want to try? Try? Yeah. We can try it. I just end that video. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Okay. Huh? Here? Mm-hmm. And you have water inside your cup. Okay. Alexis, you wanna try? So this is how they pay for water before. Actually water from the gods. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Then the water goes out there. That's awesome. The water, uh, the coin goes in there, goes down there, and goes over here. Let's try it. See. And there you are, there's your water. And the water goes in. Mm -hmm. So do we just put that back in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is how it goes. There's water in there. And once you... And the water is there. Yay! Yay. a miracle. Mm -hmm. In ancient Greece, as we know, people made sacrifices to God. So, outside of the temple, they light up a fire on the altar. But underground, we have this whole mechanism. In this container, we have water, and the water of the fire in reality goes up. But instead, in this case, since our altar is empty inside, the warm air will go down, it will expand, expand and push the water through the pipe to the container in the corner. The container is part of a scale because it is connected with chains to the weights to the other side. So, as our container goes full with water, it will slowly go down. In a couple of seconds, we are going to see that the doors are going to open. Mm -hmm. Oops, with the water. And our gates. And then. Open. It was the first automatic opening of gates installed in a temple. Oh, first automatic door mm -hmm. opened. What goddess do you think that we have inside? Athena. <laughs> exactly. Because that's the Parthenon. Mm -hmm. But since the people didn't know what happened underground, uh -huh. they thought that the goddess was happy with their sacrifice, so she opened up the gates for them to go and pray. <laughs> <laughs> at the end, exactly. <laughs> at the end, when they put out the fire, everything was reversed, which means that the water that we have in the container in the corner mm -hmm. will go back inside in here through the pipe and the gates will close. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Magic trick. Exactly. Mm, thank you. Oh, that's the alarm. Exactly. Door alarm. How does it work? So, how it works? People made it to prevent thieves from going inside their house. And as we can see, we have these ropes which connect the door to the scale over here. Uh -huh. We have the weight and the counterweight. So, when the thief wanted to go inside, he pushed the door, the weight went up, and in here we have two containers. This contains water and this contains air. So, when this was submerged, oh, the pressurized air would go out of the whistles. In reality, it went out through the trumpet, but because of the noise is so loud, we had it closed. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> can you do it again, Athena? Let's see how it works again. Alexis, can you move, please? Okay, Athena, open the door. That's awesome. <laughs> So this is the oh, hydraulic stay technology. How do you stay on that? The, this is how it works. It's a three person water gun. Oh. They're the first firefighters. <laughs> All I have to do is water gun. Water gun. Here. There you go. And they aim it, eh? they aim it to the uh... air. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. So this is it. It would be a great projectile. Mm-hmm. Let me see what's inside there. Oh. You're able to touch this? No. Oh. Are you allowed to touch that? I'm not sure, but it didn't say don't touch. Oh, that, that makes a lot of noise. <laughs> it's old, mommy. It's, are you allowed to touch this? What is this? Endless screw. Wait a minute, girls. What does it say? This is by Archimedes, girls. Archimedes. Eureka. Remember? Yeah, the guy who was naked. Was naked. What is this? You were like, I forgot what it was Wow. Go, go. Which way did And also, if you would like, uh, we are uh, showing some things upstairs. The cup of Pythagoras and this. Okay. The ancient screw it of Archimedes? Yes. Okay. Exactly. And what does it do? So, it takes our water up, and this was actually a way for the people to water their plants. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we also have the other version of it right what here. Is this? This is exactly the same, but the screw this time is inside in here. And one person should go up and then paddle with their feet. Oh my gosh, girls. That's how they do that. That requires a this lot of like balance. An exercise. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's how they water their plants? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's awesome. To me, this. The what? Wind lash. Oh. It was used to bring weight towards you. What oh, okay. I mean is, when we had the weight in here, we could do this piece, yes, around, mm -hmm. and so we could take the weight to where we wanted. But oh, that's how they move those. Mm -hmm. oh, look at that. Exactly. There, this is where I can do this again. Mm-hmm. Uh, the wind glass of Archimedes. Let's take a picture. Alright. And who is this? Geodesy in cartography.
Museum of Alexandria. The sundial. It's the clock of Armenian. It says time, father of all things. Look at that. I do. That's water. Oh. It goes down. Pretty awesome. There's that. That's it's called the hydraulic clock. It's the measurement of time. And this one is the girls. Alarm clock of Plato. How does it work? Mm-hmm. Oh. What did it sound in there? Yeah. The bat. Was it another horn? Sound like or This is how it is. Oops. So that's how they set the time. And what's next there? So they set it there, the time, and it goes down here, flow, 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 all the way here, in that. Does it make a sound? <laughs> and what is this? If, I don't know. Strong words usually have the hardest to wake up ones. <laughs> so, maybe it wasn't going to laugh. Look, it moves. It rotates it. What does it say in the automation and automatic navigation? Rhapsody of Alien. Should we read that? For the first time in the 20th. 
And what is this supposed to be? The mobile automation of Mirana. Car pocket theater of the ancient Greece. Greeks. I mean. Myth of Dionysus. Oh, look at that. They rotate. This is it. Oh, wow. I like a theater. Cover the other side. <laughs> what is this? Measuring instruments. What is this? Oh, girls, the first road distance calculator in human history. Let me see if I can zoom. That's how they may measure Plato of Athens. God always geometrizes. There you go. What is this? A cross. For your own safety, please do not touch. Yeah, I don't want to touch a cross. Look at this. Looks dangerous. So does it say belly releaser? The most ancient catapult. Oh, that's why it's called the belly releaser because you put it in your on your belly and release it. I think it's sounds painful. There you go. That's the military technology. And it sounds painful. Yeah. What does it say? This is how it works, girls. This big one here. Wow, it reloads. Oh, wow. It reloads the ar arrows. Look. From Alexandria, so many inventors from Alexandria are like this. This is how it is. Those are the arrows. Oh no, that's the belly. Releaser that's quite huge. Looks painful. And this is the big one where they reload the arrows here, like this. So you can like constantly shoot it. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. This is the repeating catapult of Dionysus of Alexandria. I don't know, I think it's pronounced Dionysus. Dionysus? Claudius Ptolemy. Ptolemy. Isn't, it's that, just, uh, isn't that the guy who went in Greece? I mean, Egypt? <laughs> Probably the descendants.
great astronomer, geographer, cartographer, mathematician, musicologist. This is Claudius Ptolemy. Oh, it's a girl. Claudius looks like a boy. I don't know. Yeah. Looks like a girl with a That's dainty it. hands. The boys have their dresses up to their knees. The mirror of... How do you pronounce that? Yes, you can see the music. Excuse me. So there you are very interested. Wow. Musical mirror. What was this called? You can see the description, but can you tell me before looking at it? Okay. What does it do? Rest the rest is systematic, breaks the loss of hydrosetics. Right. So this is what it was. Alright. Thanks. Oh. Okay, and what is this? Those are gadgets. A lot of these have water. I guess it's... Yeah. Well, I'm guessing a hole in the, in the stove. Mm -hmm. This must come up in a hole. Have it here. Hmm. Oh, they have the automatic dispenser now. Is it the one downstairs? Do not fall. Here you go. The Philosopher's Stone. Oh, look at that. The Philosopher's Stone. Okay. Is it like a fountain? Does it do? The engineering civil one drive off the line. That's quite hard to imagine for me to tell me. Open it or. What is that? Yeah, How engineering is that? You know, in the teachers, they made the statues, most of them were made from bronze. Mm. So they made it from bronze. I mean, they are uh, empty inside. Yeah. There's a film, so they created so it. Yeah, the right. How does it work? So this is a tea plant. Yeah, that's it. Get two. Oh, it's inside there. Oh, there's a hole there that you press. And when you press one, um. Oh. oh, I guess it's to prevent it from spilling. Yeah, probably. Oh, let me see. No, it's to pour it. Yes. Water? Look, look, it's supposed to be, if you choose, water, wine, or watered <laughs> wine. What's water more? Like, mix it. That's awesome. Hmm? Yes. And what is this? So this is the first internal school cutter in human history. Screw powder. Wow, that's actually really neat. <laughs> this is it. And what is this? Tools and machine.
kis antén. What is this? Chirping birds. It's an owl, I think. Where is Apollonius? Laptop. Laptop from the past. Oh wow. This is the laptop from the past. What was it used for? Um, periodic expedition. This one over here. So it's a more it's a computing mechanism. Of the uh, so more and what is this? This is the Greek abacus. And this one? This is the 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 only things that were every uh, four years. So it, you, it used, was used to calculate the day and the hour of the Olympiad was uh, as well as the face of the moon on the day. The planetarium of Archimedes so, here. So they knew exactly the day and the hour of certain events in the future mm -hmm. or in the past. So maybe one when a specific event happened in, uh, now in the present, they could search and see what day and time it was in the past. Oh. It looks so. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. <laughs> I can show you here. Wait. No. On the other side. Magical fountain, and this is how it works. We just have to put some water. Oh, oh wow, that's our first ever fountain. Mm -hmm. How does it work? And how does it work? We have two containers, one with water and one with air. Mm -hmm. The water is just put, started the whole process by going down through this tube mm -hmm. here, pushing the air uh, from um, pushing yes, the air through this tube inside here, and then the air pushes the water up and outside. Oh, <laughs> ingenious! And for how long do you think this will work? 
some wine yes. so it's below the line almost mm -hmm. and then if I put some more <laughs> all the wine will flow out not only the wine that crossed the line but all of it only a little bit will remain on the bottom now let me show you how this works wow if they go over the limit it will empty it all exactly. out all of it. as you can see only a little bit remains yeah, only a very little bit. Okay. And how this works? We have a tube mm -hmm. that goes all the way through. Another tube that's closed on one side, open on the other. So when I put those two tubes together, we have a space that's only with air. That's, there's a bit of space mm -hmm. that has air. The two tubes don't come in touch with each other, so there's a bit of space between them. When I start pouring some wine, some of it goes between these two tubes. Mm -hmm. And when I reach the limit, I end up cross it. The water inside the tube rises also, touches the air, this lifts, and everything will flow out. It doesn't close until yeah. everything is gone. <laughs> so all this system yeah. was inside here, inside here, mm -hmm. doesn't come out. Oh. There's a hole somewhere underneath, and uh, somewhere here around, oh. inside here. So it's the same principle as this, but it doesn't come out. So the water, there's a hole, there's some air between these two tubes. When you start putting some water, the wine, some of it goes inside the tube, in between these two tubes, we put more across the line, the, w the wine touches the air, and with the pressure of the air and the water, everything will flow out. <laughs> That's one way not to get too drunk. You might need to get something out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. This one? Mm -hmm. So, some more? more? Yes. More, more? Okay, up to the line. A bit more? And you haven't crossed the line. You're not agreeing. It's okay, so, oh, now you cross the line. Now it's right. in a flow. <laughs> why don't you, why can't you still, still buy? Okay. Top, top, 
from the past. And this is the uh, original size. Yes. Original size. But in the was built with wood. Oh? It was only with wood. And not only with wood. The casing was in, in wood. That's cool. This one. The GPS of ancient Greeks. What is this? Medical technology. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know what that is. This one. Ew. This is a big injection. Uh, uh. What is that? Um, oh. Oh gosh. Don't say it. I guess the syringe. I don't want to stop coughing. That's so. I don't want to be in contact with that syringe. This little cranial saw. Oh my gosh. This is it. This uh, cranial. You got the names here, but well, they're not very clear. Ah. Oh. Let me see. Yeah, yes, you can clearly see. Mm. You can see it's uh, covered. So this one here is the last one. This one here is this one over there. Oh, yeah. This one here is this one. It's the saw. Mm -hmm. the saw. This one here is a cupping vessel. Oh, and the series is the syringe. Yes. And this is the saw. And this is the speculum. What did they put in the syringe? Medicine. They, or, uh Blood out of that. Ooh. I would be very scared.